Hello everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the ESP32 ultra wideband board that I recently got from Maker Fabs. In fact, I got these three boards for testing and doing some UWB projects. The ESP32 Wi Fi module is interfaced here with an ultra wideband chip called TW1000. The UWB module integrates an antenna, RF circuits, power management circuits, and clock modules. So, basically, we will learn what ultra wideband technology is and how it works. We will go through the board design, specifications and application. Then we will learn how to use this embedded board for object detection and ranging. During range detection, there might be antenna delay issue. This may lead to give incorrectly measured distance. Therefore, we will learn the method to fix the distance issue with the antenna delay calibration method. Overall, this tutorial is going to be very very interesting as you will be able to learn a lot about the ultra wideband technology. So without getting any further delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCB like this one? That looks so good. Then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size any solder color marks that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cardboard file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Now. Let's learn about the ESP32 UWB module. The ESP32 Ultra Wideband module is based on DW1000 and ESP32. This board is manufactured by Maker Fabs. For experiment and testing, I'll be using two or three boards together. This board acts like continuously scanning radar that precisely locks into another device and communicates with it. In the end, it will be calculating its own location. Thus. You can use these boards for indoor location positioning system up to a distance of 20 meters. The top side of the board has ESP32 Wi-Fi module, basically a room or a room chip. The ESP32 chip is embedded in this board with BU01 UWB module. The data transmitter net of this module is up to 6.8 Mbps. The power required by this module is between 2.8 volt to 3.6 volt and consumes 1 mA current in sleep mode. The antenna on this UWB chip is very precise and can transmit pulses in nanoseconds. This is the DW1000 chips from DecaWeb which has a frequency of 3.5 to 6.5 GHz. AI Thinker use this chip and build their own UWB module called BU01. This chip is an SPI module and can be interfaced with any microcontroller easily. Due to its best antenna design, there is no need of RF design again. The ESP32 UWB board has a reset and a flash button as present in other ESP32 boards. On the back side of the board, there is CP2102 chip for UART communication. The name of the input output ports is also assigned on the board. The male or female headers can be soldered on both sides of the board. This makes the board breadboard friendly. Hence. You can place it on a breadboard with other components during practical applications. You can purchase this board officially from the Maker Fabs website as this board is only manufactured by them. The board cost around $40 only. There are two versions of this board, one with a room chip and other with a rumor chip. You can purchase any of them. While purchasing, please buy at least three boards because Buying a single or two boards won't benefit you in the practical project part. Now let's get started with this module. First insert two USB cable in your computer. On the other end connect the micro USB cable to your ESP32 UWB board. A blue LED on the back will glow indicating power. Do the same for the other board as well. We'll be using two boards in this project. One board will act as an anchor and the other board will act as a tag. The anchor is also called center and the tag is also called receiver. 
To use this board with Arduino ID, we need the DW1000 library. So go to this GitHub repository and download this library. The page contains all the information related to DW1000. You can also get this library from library manager. Just go to the library manager and search for DW1000 and you can easily install it from here. Now, here is the pair of codes that I have taken from the modified example of TW1000 library. One code is for anchor and the other code is for the tag. The SPI pins are defined in this code and all other parameters for finding the distance are also given. But this library won't compile now. First, we need to modify the library. So for that, go to the Arduino library folder and look for TW1000 library. Open the source folder that is src. Inside the folder, there is a dw1000.cpp file. Open this file with notepad++. Then go to line number 172. Here, you need to comment on these three lines. That's it. Now, you can save this file. Go back to the code part. Select the ESP32 robot module from the board list. And also select the respective COM port. Then click on the upload button to upload the code. You need to upload the code to the anchor as well tag board. Once the code is uploaded, you can open the both serial monitor. The serial monitor will show the anchor ID and the other serial monitor will show the tag ID. It will also show the range in meters and the receiver power in dBm. Here you can see that one board is the anchor board and the other board is the tag board. The anchor should be stationary and the tag should be movable. But here you can move anything. There will be no differences. As you can see here, when one of the board is moved, there is the variation in the distance. Now, we need to check whether the major distance is correct or not. So, I have placed two marks apart from each other at a distance of 1 meter. The major distance between these two marks is exactly 1 meter. So let me put these two boards together. Now let us check whether serial monitor is showing the correct distance or not. So here in the serial monitor, the major distance is almost 2 meters, which is absolutely incorrect. It should have shown 1 meter distance only. Now the question is, why it is showing the incorrect distance? The reason is due to antenna delay. Now let's see what antenna delay is. The UWB module measures distance using time of flight technology. Due to the variation in time of flight, the major distance is inaccurate. The time of flight accuracy is due to the components between DW1000 and the antenna. Since we are measuring RF signal moving at the speed of light, this variation can make difference to ranging measurement in the terms of centimeters. In order to solve this issue, we need to calibrate the measurement. Now let us see how we can do so. First. Go to the library folder and then delete DW1000 library. We need to download a modified library now. This modified library fixes the major distance issue and has some modified example code to calibrate this module. So go to this GitHub repository and download this library. After downloading, extract this library. Inside this folder, there is a folder called DW1000 library. Got or copy this library and place it inside the Arduino library folder. Then go back to the excited folder again. From this list, we need to delete all other folders except the three needed folders. The remaining three folders are ESP32 Anchor Auto Calibrate, then Setup Anchor and the Setup tag. Now open the ESP32 Anchor Auto Calibrate file and also open the ESP32 UWB setup tag file. Now we are having two new codes for calibrating. In the anchor code, we need to assign the fixed distance where we are measuring the values. In my case, I am measuring the distance at 1 meter. So I will replace it with 1. That's the only change that we need. Practically, the anchor and tag board are placed at 1 meter distance. Now, upload these codes to both the boards. 
Open the serial monitor. Press the reset button on both these boards. In the anchor tab, you will get a parameter called final A delay. Copy this A delay factor as this would be required in the final code. That's it from this. Now we can move to the final part of this project. So close the anchor calibration code and open the ESP32 UWP setup anchor code. In this code, replace the A delay factor with the number that you copied earlier. Also, make the changes to the distance part. That's the only two changes required in the final code. In the tag code, there is no need to make any changes as the same code which was used earlier is enough. Upload this final code again. Now, let's test the actual distance this time. Open the serial monitor. As you can see here now, the major distance is almost 1 meter. So, the antenna delay calibration method has worked for us. Now to test the other distances, I have marked this as 0 0.5 meters. So, let's test this distance by putting the module here. As you can see in the serial monitor, the major distance is 0 0.5 meter. So, the antenna delay calibration method has fixed this issue so far. So, this is how you can get started with ESP32 ultra wideband board and measure the distance for indoor location tracking applications. That's all for today's tutorial. Alright, the complete details of this project has been uploaded on the website of How to Electronics. You can get the purchase link, data sheets, source code, program, and all other details on this post. In case you have still any questions, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.